Hello friends, Radhika Ravikuma here. In this tutorial, we'll see how we can load the files that is last three files from the source to the target. So in my previous tutorial, I've already told you how to load the first three records from a file that is from a source to the target. I uh, hope you guys have understood it clearly. So in this tutorial, I'm going to just tell you how to load the last three records from the source file to the target so here already I have a mapping I'll just give you an explanation so that you can follow the same and create this mapping and run in your respective systems so I have taken the employee uh, oracle table so for the same the source qualifier has been generated from the source qualifier I'm just taking the e name because I don't want the other fields you know simply it will be a confusion for us we just need the f uh, the record that's last three records so I'm just taking ename as my example okay so in this ename example what I'm doing is first create an expression transformation and uh, just drag from source to expression just the ename then in the ename uh, if you expand the ename transformation sorry uh, if you expand the expression transformation in the port you will be able to see only ename so you need to create some three extra ports where one will be your variable po variable row that's going to just you know give you um, uh, increment and count like the way I told you the last time while creating the while loading the first three records to the target so just like our sequence generator we are creating a variable count and then o count and another one extra port that is o dummy row that is that is you're just going to say one to that prospective dummy port so what these two does is as i mentioned it's going to just uh, give you an incremental count that a uh, number that's going to be incremented by one so one two three those things are going to be called by using o count then another one port called o dummy this is going to give you just one each row is going to be assigned with the number called one okay so these are the things in this uh, expression transformation then create another one transformation called aggregated transformation so in this aggregated transformation make sure that you are dragging this um, o count and dummy o count port and the dummy port to your aggregated transformation so that's what i've dragged o count and dummy from the expression transformation and create one new port called o total record so this is going to this is going to be an output port and um, this is going to call the o count so we are not grouping it uh, don't just check this group by because if, when you don't check the group by by default this o total records is going to have the last record number for example that um, for example this uh, consider this employee table is having some 10 records so when you just call o count using this o total record it's going to have the value 10 so in my um, you know in my uh, whatever uh, example i don't know how many records are there so that prospective uh, count or the respective number is going to be assigned to this o total record so these are the ports that are available in the aggregator transformation so then what you're going to do is you're going to make use of a joiner and you're going to drag these um, ename and uh, you know all these three uh, rows to your joiner transformation which is going to be a source type detail and from here you're going to, you're going to drag the o total record and o dummy uh, record uh, so row to this and you're going to join with the condition like o dummy one is going to be o dummy okay that's nothing but this dummy re dummy row is coming from the expression transformation another one dummy is going to come from the aggregator transformation so you're just going to um, you know on the condition that this should be equal to this o dummy okay so based on that you're creating a joiner here so for that we are making use of joiner transformation so that's what is about and uh, you can see uh, these two are master and make sure when sometimes what happens is I have faced it many a times like uh, when you when you drag the 
you know rows from explosion transformation and drag it to your joiner and then if you drag from the aggregator you'll be able to you'll not be able to see this you know this blue line the connector why this happens is it's because in this properties make sure this sorted input is checked if you don't check it then obviously you will not be able to see the master connector the master connector uh, to your joiner hope you guys are understanding so make sure this uh, sorter input is the uh, sorter input is uh, checked so that you will be able to join it properly so that's what is about joiner so joiner what exactly happens let me explain you that so here you have uh, you know um, here what exactly happens is in e name uh, your row is going to be given like um, for example let me just give you an example i say rad then I say then Ram Jim like that so consider there are three records like this you can see there is the O count and O dummy count right so O count is going to give one one value and then the dummy is going to be one again then again when you come to Ram it's going to be two and the dummy value is going to be one then when you say gym it's going to be 3 and the dummy count is going to be 1 this is what is going to be in the expression transformation okay this is what is going to be in the expression transformation so what about this um, aggregator transformation is in aggregator transformation you can see there is um, O total count and O dummy count so as you see o, o, uh, this O total count is calling the O count when we saw that previously if you open and expand the aggregate transfer you will come to know so the O total count is going to be just 3 because there are only 3 records and O dummy count is going to be 1 because you know 1 has been assigned to it so this is what is going to be an aggregator transformation so next why when you join these these two by using by keeping this dummy as uh, the condition what exactly happens is obviously this satisfies for all condition and in this joiner uh, I'll just take this off joiner transformation this is what is going to be your result sorry so this is what will be your you know result when you join with this dummy uh, dummy as a condition so later this is going to be given a uh, given to our filter what we are suggesting in the filter is in the filter we are giving a um, condition fil just go to properties and filter condition in filter condition just tell that the o total records uh, minus o count should be less than equal to 2 because we you need last three records right so for that you're just mentioning that this o total records minus o count should be less than equal to two so when you give that uh, only the last three records will be given to your target so i'm leaving all these and i'm just you know pulling over this e name and uh, sorry e, e emp id i'm just giving some emp id as a uh, my field so that will come to know using this count like what number it is then the e name so that's what is about this so let me run uh, this you know mapping just go to your uh, workflow manager i've already created a, a session over here so i have a file that's automat that's already generated sorry so let me delete it first of all then um, coming back to my session i'll just run this session okay uh, make sure you're doing all the changes that uh, that needs to be done in this uh, mapping and target mention where you want your file to be present give your in this output file directory name give the path and the output file name give your um, file name so that your output file will sit in that respective path Gen, then just uh, right click and say start task okay. you can see it's running so let it get succeeded 
before that I'll just show you what is the last three um, records it's James Ford and Miller you can see it here just run this query select star from EMP and you will be able to see James Ford and Miller is the last three records that's what we want in our file so you can see the mapping is succeeded so now if I go to my desktop and see our file has been generated and you can see here James Ford and Miller so these are the last three um, records from our file so that was what that is what was our requirement so this is a very important interview question so make sure that you are understanding this and uh, practice this and execute the same hope this tutorial was helpful uh, keep supporting my videos and uh, thank you very much for watching